You already recording? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hello everybody. Uh, it's been a long, long time. I think it's close to two years since the last uh, video, and a lot of things has transpired. Um, I didn't make any videos. We've done some trips, and uh, um, I just, I guess, I got lazy and. Mitch thinks that he's independent now. Say hi, Mitch. Hi. <laughs> so so he, he was doing his own things and... Uh, um, but anyway, the changes now. Well, let's, let's begin with why the vid this video is called uh, Land Cruiser versus Siberia. Well... We're in the process of we put our place for sale. By the way, if somebody's interested in in a ranch or just uh, 246 acres with a modular home on it, it has a little old uh, trailer for a shop. And what else do we have? We have a greenhouse, well house. A garden and all. Anyway, uh, <coughs> this is just a fish, fishing expedition here. I'm getting hot. Yeah, we're sitting in the car in the truck because uh, it's windy out there and it was sprinkling a little bit rain. It's early spring here in Wyoming. But uh, yeah, actually, it was snowing this morning. Yeah, it cleared up. It's sunny now. But anyway. So yeah, we are getting ready, once the place is sold, we will be, we're actually in the process right now, um, researching logistics. The plan is to put this old 1996 Land Cruiser on the, on the ship and ship it to Vladivostok, Russia and then uh, drive from Vladivostok to at least Moscow. Maybe, maybe we'll end up all the way to Western Russia or maybe we'll just stop in, uh, in Moscow. But that's the plan. And uh, so we're, the, plan, the, plan, <laughs> the plan is in the process, but in the meantime, uh, we are doing all the necessary research uh, to put it together. The expedition is going to be, right now, it's, it will be uh, self-financed. Um, well, we don't have any idea just yet how much it's going to cost between the visas and, of course, day-to-day uh, -day expenses. Uh, there's going to be a lot of obstacles. It's a big expedition, but we're pretty determined. So. Right now, as soon as the place is sold, I'm quitting my job, and we'll get on the road. Um, Catherine, my daughter, uh, she... I don't remember, was she in, in, in any of the videos that we made? Don't think so. Yeah, I don't remember either. But anyway, uh, she's going with us, so it's going to be three of us. My wife is staying behind, because um, my father-in-law is living with us. And in his advanced age, it will be too much of a risk, I guess. Um, so anyway, she's staying behind. But three of us are getting ready. And, um, well, one more thing about uh, the financial part. Um, we will be trying to work on to find some, uh, maybe, sponsorship. Maybe. Uh, but right now we don't have any any hard plans of how much work we put into it into actually finding the sponsorship so for this first video and there's going to be quite a few of them coming up um, so any anyway anybody who wants to help us with advice as far as the equipment maybe somebody has uh, experience traveling on the vehicle overseas or in different countries um, all the suggestions are wel welcomed um, especially when it comes to the vehicle it's uh, it has hundred and seventy thousand miles on it 
it's pretty solid. Me and Mitch went through a bunch of stuff looking uh, for things that needs to be replaced, uh, uh, checked over, and it's pretty solid. There's few things. As a matter of fact, just today I came back from the muffler shop, so I'll be uh, replacing um, everything from the headers to the tailpipe. Um, the roof rack that I have, um, I have videos that I, I put on. Um, I built it out of wood and it held up excellently to this point but we decided not to risk and actually uh, um, I'll be purchasing a metal one especially uh, with all the stuff that's going to be on the top uh, there's going to be times we'll have to step on it and uh, the wood, wood one was pretty solid but like I said we're, we will be replacing it with metal um, the rear bumper needs to be procured um, because right now the, sp the spare on a Land Cruiser is under the body in the rear and uh, you'll be relocated on the bumper so that's going to be um, also down the road. Right now I'm trying to decide on which one to go with. The front bu bumper is built by Slee. Uh, if, any, if any of the Toyota people um, should probably know it's uh, uh, high quality stuff. Um, uh, so we'll, m I'm I'm leaning towards getting Slee rear bumper. It, it's well, judging by the front bump bumper, it's a good quality, very solid bumper. Uh, so I would uh, imagine that the rear one will be the same. And uh, um, oh. So, before, while we are in the process of selling the property, getting the research, and uh, we'll be making some trips. The first one that's coming up probably in about two to three weeks time, uh, we're planning to travel from Riverton to Dubois, then cross over Wind River Mountains to Pinedale, Wyoming, and coming back to uh, uh, Riverton. Now, it, this is... Um, a fairly short trip. I think the whole round trip will be uh, no more than what three days. Well, I'm, I'm I'm thinking of miles. Probably what about 300 miles, maybe even less. But it's going to be over mountains, and um, in May here in Wyoming, we still probably have up to 12 uh, feet of snow up there in the mountains. And in the preparation for that, I have ordered Hutchinson beadlocked wheels. Uh, once I'll get them, I'll explain for those that are not familiar what are the beadlock wheels all about. We ordered new tires. We've been riving, uh, r um, running Beef Good Reaches KM2s all this time. Very happy with it, but I've done some research on uh, deep snow wheeling, and um, I don't know at this point, depending on the property sale, if if our trip will be in the summer going to the fall, or maybe it's going to be over the winter, but in any case, um, the, uh, the research that I have done, um, I'm getting Mickey Thompson's Baja Claw uh, tires. Uh, they have, uh, I, I think the guys that run, run deep snow um, I think the first choice are the oops, the first choice are the what would, what's the name? What are you smiling with? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the first choice. What what was the the tire that I was looking? At? Super Swamper, Irock. Irock, right? Irock something. Else. Nd. Nd, right? Non-directional. Um, and the second choice are the Baja Claw, or I don't know, they, they are anyway second or, or third choice, but they are also uh, have a good reputation in, in the deep snow. So that all will be coming in, and uh, once it uh, comes in, we'll make videos of installing it on the vehicle, and uh, uh, this is going to be the first test, uh, just to see how that setup will, uh, will get us over, over the deep snow. Well, one more thing in this video I want to mention on the, in addition to any advice that definitely are wel welcomed um, if 
you would like to see uh, how the whole thing is progressing and God willing we actually will uh, uh, get on a road and everything will work out um, you can support us by subscribing to our channel and uh, putting thumbs up or thumbs down which, whichever uh, because we we are partnering with um, YouTube, not just us, it's just uh, the program that YouTube runs. So, um, if the videos are popular, uh, that will partially finance our expedition. So, thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you very much, and we will be... Um, how often do you think we're going to do those? Well, as things will be progressing, we'll be collecting the videos, probably posting at least the one video a week with updates uh, if, if something becomes up in between we'll, posting, we'll post, uh, post uh, more often anyway thanks for watching and big adventure big adventure ahead of us bye